So hello everyone, welcome back to another video, it is your boy Axel. So yeah, we're finally back with another video. Right, it is uh, a commentary video about Warzone Mobile finally getting graphic settings. Now, Warzone Mobile really didn't want to work on my phone today. I don't know why, I just couldn't enter a match at all, even if it was like a multiplayer match. So yeah, they added three... Uh, they had a, a graphic settings with three options being low, middle, um, the low, medium, high settings, you know, and um, with the low, I mean, it's pretty dog shit. I mean, it's the lowest graphics possible, um, lowest frame rate possible. Basically, what they call it is a battery lifesaver mode. Um, and then for the medium, um, uh, graphic settings, it is balance, basically. It's a balance between saving battery life, but also having, like, a good graphics, good frame rate, and then you have the high settings, which is the performance and fidelity, uh, focused, uh, mode, which is the best graphics possible and the best frame rate. Now, one thing you guys should do if you're going to be playing Warzone Mobile and trying these graphics, one mistake you shouldn't be doing is whenever you try out the graphic, whenever you're going to change your graphic settings, restart your game, or else like the graphics aren't really going to change. It's just the visual quality and the frame rate that's changing. I saw a YouTuber that I I watch like all of his videos where um basically um he did that mistake he didn't restart his game so he really didn't see much difference between the graphics on medium settings and high settings and because of that you know uh he couldn't really see that much difference the only difference he could see was well I mean like the visual quality I guess so yeah but basically medium settings and high settings are basically kind of like the same thing it's just a, a, a little bit different and my thoughts is that uh, i think they're testing um how these graphic settings are ran on the phone on mobile and stuff like that i mean the iphone iphone optimization and ipad optimization is basically done um they need to focus on optimization for android because it's pretty shit, man it's pretty shit. So yeah, and yeah, yes. Uh, these graphic settings are like a disappointment to the community, but like I feel like they're doing this for testing purposes, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be delaying the game. Yes, the the game they're gonna delay it once again. It was supposed to uh, be released like May, like last May, like May 15th or some shit. And then they delayed it to November 10th of this year, so it could release with Modern Warfare 3. But I don't think they're going to be, I don't think that it's going to work out. Unless they want to rush the game, release it with a bunch of bugs, release it as a shitty game. If they don't want to do that, they're definitely going to be delaying the game. Because I don't think the game is done. I don't think the game's done. Alright? So yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that, the, those are my thoughts on Warzone Mobile getting graphic settings, finally. Uh, and I'm sorry I can record a gameplay of my own, because I wanted to actually, even if it meant destroying my potato phone. Yeah, yeah, my potato phone that has like 4 gigs of RAM, um, like the shitty GPU. Yeah, literally, and my phone is so shit. Google Play doesn't even recommend downloading words on mobile because it's so shit. But yeah, anyways, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, shout out to the YouTuber who, you know, shout out to the YouTuber who made this gameplay video. And um, I hope he doesn't take this video down because I didn't ask his permission to get this. Um, um, but so yeah, whatever. See ya, uh, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below your thoughts on Warzone Mobile, in general.
gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Did ya? Planting charge! 